Good morning. It's Friday morning, October 22nd, 2021. And it's time for your morning walk with me, Sophronia. So uh, time seemed to be on the docket last week in terms of, of thinking and discussion. I spoke with you last week about procrastination. Uh, and I told you I was doing the, the mini writing retreat, Madeline Mornings, with Sarah Arthur. And it turned out that the topic that we discussed that day with our writers was a time concept that Madeline Langle wrote about. She talked about the difference between Kairos time and Kronos time. And <clears throat> if you don't know what that's about, Kronos time is the time that, that we all deal with, right? That's the time on our watches. Kairos time is God time. It's, it's outside of regular time. And it may seem like we don't have access to that, right? That because for God, you know, 10,000 years can be a minute, right? That's the idea. But we slip into Kairos time also. And that's what she was writing about, that when she's writing, <clears throat> she enters this kind of timeless feeling. And, and that's another thing that made writing sacred to her, that it felt like she had slipped into Kairos time. I, I shared at the workshop that I feel like Kairos time, because I've, I've been in it too, I've, I've felt it. It feels like an ongoing present moment, that there is no before, there is no after, there is no past, there is no future, there's just now, 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 now. And it feels absolutely energetic and wonderful. And I felt it not just with writing. Um, there, there are certain people that I, I, I get very easily into Kairos time with. I remember this, this one friend of mine when I first met her and we went and had um, lunch at the Harvard Club in New York City. And we sat there for over four hours and did not realize it. <laughs> That's when I realized this was someone very special in my life. So, the, the, the gift of this, of thinking about Kairos time versus Kronos time, is, is realizing that we do have a way to kind of bend time in the way that Madeline Lingle talks about it in her books, you know, the way of she almost talks about it as a kind of time travel of the tessering. But I feel that, that this means that in a certain way we can have all the time we need when we need it. I think it's a matter of figuring out are we doing the thing that we love? Are we with the right friends that can help us feel the possibility, the energy, and the hope of Kairos time. I'm going to keep walking. It's a beautiful day. I am going to be in Michigan next week. I'm going to Alma, making preparations for our next residency in the MFA program. So I will talk to you from there next week. Bye-bye.